It's a film that takes place on a course for people with fear of flying. Uh, it's about a group of uh, people in London and their uh, final uh, test on this course is uh, an exposure flight to Iceland. Um, and um, it turns out to be a horrible flight over there. And um, the question remains if they will ever re make it back. I play uh, Alphonse, who is the boyfriend of uh, the influencer Coco. And, uh, and she takes him on this uh, fear of flight course because he's, uh, he's developed a fear of flying over the past years and they need to, they need to travel a lot. Uh, in their in her work, uh, so he's kind of a boyfriend of Instagram, you know, the the guys you see on the beach who take pictures of the beautiful girls. Exactly, and a girl um, <laughs> like Coco needs a boyfriend who's not afraid of flying, and so I accompany him um, <laughs> uh, on his um, therapy trip <laughs> to become a fearless flyer, and. Uh, yeah, it's it's a, I think a funny duo. I play Charles, who is the leader of the fearless flying group, the fear of flying group. Um, he is an accidental leader, though. He's he's got great ideas, but then when he actually has to put them into practical use, um, they're sort of not as thought out maybe as he maybe thought that they were. And um, yeah, he sort of uh, is on a journey of self-discovery as a leader, I suppose. Yeah. Um, I heard about these courses because there was someone close to me that had this problem and, uh, and I found it quite fascinating, you know, um, and, um, and wanted to kind of use it as a, a vehicle or a metaphor to, to make a film, uh, kind of an existential comedy about, you know, big themes like fear and death and, life and, and you know all these uh, crazy thoughts that make us feel small and vulnerable you know and it can surprise you can't it you know that like you think you're just walking up somewhere and everything's fine and then suddenly you realize oh you're high and i'm afraid and you know like can you and i think that, that like a big thing that these characters face is that they have trouble admitting that they are afraid of flying or afraid of leading you know like they're all in a space where they have confronted it to an extent, but maybe not told themselves, yes, I am afraid and it's okay. You know, and I think that's sort of a lot of the kind of obstacle that these people are facing. They, uh, they are a couple. Uh, and uh, I, I think Alphonse is getting tired of, of uh, being in the shadow of Coco. Like she, she has half a million followers on Instagram and he's, he has his own dreams, but I think more and more it's just become that he's serving her career and, and taking pictures of her. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's not in my interest that he um, develops to be too independent, but maybe plays into my interest. <laughs> so <laughs> I think uh, uh, Coco is <laughs> at the beginning quite a controlling girlfriend also in that sense <laughs> but um they make a, a a funny curling duo um at the beginning and no he's leading them he's the course leader the instructor, the instructor yes and it, but he becomes part of the group because he is part of the group you know so i think that at first he takes this position of authority but it's a performed position and then he realized that the performance is only skin or uh, language deep and um, so then he has to rely on the people that he's teaching and become a student you know um, like like life I suppose it's okay to feel small you know <laughs> and uh, just let go just go for it you know uh, and, and give up, you know, try, trying to trying to control things. You know, we, we we I think we're trying to control way way too many things, and just you know, yeah, spread your wings. <laughs> <laughs>